Yeah. What's up, you guys? Got another deck tech for you here. Look here, we have, uh, oh my god, it's a lot of glare. The Gitrog monster here. Five mana, death touch. Beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice them unless you sacrifice a land. You can play an additional land on each one of your turns. Whenever one or more land cards are put into a graveyard from anywhere, you get to draw a card. That's so. right. So uh, let's get started with the most important card parts of the deck, the lands. So obviously I'm sure you're all aware that fetch lands are super nice in this deck, so I'm running all the fetch lands I can. Yep, so we've got, we've got lots of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fetch lands to, you know, get a land out and you draw a card if you have the gift frog out. Also just lets you sift through your deck. Um, pretty easy to get these back, as I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, other lands that are really nice. This one can get more lands from your graveyard, so you can replay them. Obviously, Termorphic, Strip Mine, Mean Card, Wasteland, Mean Card, but Tech Edge, all these mean cards, but great in this deck. Uh, some, so let's, uh, let's go over here. Other lands that are just really useful, Lotus Veil. You can add three mana of any one color, and you sack two untapped lands or bury it when it enters the field. So that just gives you card draw, command tower, Urborg, cavern for counter spells, drown yard temples nice. You can return it from your graveyard to the battlefield when you sack it with Gitfrog. Anything that sacks itself, landscape, bayou's just good. Evolving wilds, overgrown tomb, all good stuff. Um, by the way, I run about a hundred. Let's see, uh, 40, 42 lands, I believe, is what this deck was. Forty-two or forty-three. So, lots of non-basics. Also, lots of basics because you need them. Uh, so one of the combos in this deck is the Dark Depths. Uh, get Merit Lays out, right? So if there's a bunch of cards that search for any kind of land you want, so you can easily search up both of these or both of these and get a Merit Leech token, and it is very easy to get more than one Merit Leech token, so if they kill your Merit Leech, you can just go and get another one. That's pretty fun. So that's that's one, one win con right there. Um, so obviously, you need a Crucible of Worlds in this deck so you can keep playing your lands. Got some Greaves, Soul Ring, Senseis, and uh, Smokestacks, which is uh, a mean card, but lets you sack your lands to draw cards, and your opponents are losing their good things. So that's a another way to win. This deck doesn't really have a win the game instantly card, infinite combo, anything like that. It's mostly just uh, value out your opponents or kill other lands. So mm, that's not really the no, most people don't like that, but that's what this deck does. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, so let's go right over here. So here's the uh, the non-creature spells. So we've got this deck easily gets to you know 20 lands, 20 lands. So sometimes more. So any X spells are good. You've got your removal, lots of removal, uh, board wipes because we run few creatures. So board wiping is not that bad. Uh, crop rotation is a great card. Sack a land, search oh, for a land. To the light here? I don't know what did happen to the light. Life from the Loam. So here is the another win con, if you want to call it for this deck, Death Cloud. When you have 20 lands, you can easily sack 10 of them, you know, pay 10, pay whatever you want, and your opponents will lose all their lands, and you'll have quite a few left over, and you'll kill all the creatures and everything. So this is usually what wins the game. If it gets removed somehow, then you go to the Merit Liege, or just, uh, I'll show you in a sec actually how else you can do it. So we've got all our board wipes, we've got more removal. Tutors are good, cross and grip. Nissa, great card in this deck. There's lots of tutors, more removal, talk to Deluge. Great card, searches you for two lands, puts them in your graveyard. Two of them in a graveyard and another two you get to keep, so four total. Sandworm, easy to ramp into this. Great, this deck is definitely weak on flyers. Not much we can do about that except for removal. Uh, Burgening is great. Temp with Discovery. People aren't tempted as often as they like, but you know, sometimes it works out. Pox is another great one. Everyone loses one third of everything, so you lose one third of your lands, draw a card, and uh, everyone else is losing probably more. Splendid Reclamation, great card, returns all lands. Definitely good. Harrow, gotta have your damnation. Oh, wow, that's foil. It's a nice one. Boundless Realms, get lots of things. Exploration, Miri's Gill, just for some sifting. Great card in any black deck. Squandered Resources, great card in this deck. Sack a land to add one mana. This is an easy way to ramp into something amazing. Bantu's Last Reckoning, just got that. Pretty cool. In Garoop's Wake, another another good card. So let's go to the creatures. We have Titania, Protector of Argoth. Great card. Uh, lets you sack your lands to get five fives, and you get something back when she enters the field. Amazing. Uh, Ovenwald Hydra gets you a land, whatever you want, and it's power and toughness equal to the number of lands you control. Amazing. Azusa, of course, lets you play extra lands. This is another win, another way to win. So if you have lots of few creatures, 
Um, you can you'll be sacking lots of lands. People, other people sack things, so you can easily make your creatures into 10 tens, 20 twenties. It's not that hard. Death rate, great utility. Soul of New Phyrexia. It's not hard to give your things indestructible. You have that much extra mana. Oracle, great card. Another win con if you just need uh -huh. a body. Lord of Extinction. Yeah, nice one. That's nice. It's a nice one. Got to have a solemn. So in Safekeeper, protects your stuff. Terracidon gives you good utility. Avenger can easily make, you know, 15, 20, 0, 1 plants, and then you, you know, you're getting at least three or four lands entering the battlefield at turn, so they get really big really fast. So that's an instant kill for your opponents for sure. Lotus Cobra gives you more mana in the early game, and late game it's yeah, it's not bad. Rampaging Baylos just gives you four fours. Great. Eternal Witness, of course. Realm Seekers, usually really big, can search you for lands. Definitely, definitely a great one. Rexage, needed. Tireless Tracker just gives you card draw and can get bigger. And then the Centaur Vine Crasher, uh, just another big threat. Oh, yeah. So generally, this, the reason I like this deck is just because it can really deal with most situations. So if you need a board wipe, you board wipe. If you need a big threat, you have a big threat. You don't, there's no certain way to win with this deck. You can just do whatever feels right. So that's pretty much what I've got. It's a good grinding deck. It's a good grinding deck. It's, it, it's pretty much, it's like a control deck in these colors. Because you have the Get Frogs card draw ability, you're going to be drawing lots of cards, which isn't something you usually do in these colors, unless you're, you know, sacking things or... So it's, it's, an, it's a one-of-a-kind deck, I think. And it, uh, it definitely performs. <laughs> well, thank you for doing this deck tech here. Really no appreciate it. Void here, signing off. You guys have a wonderful day.